Hello and welcome back. It's Double O Debbie. This is episode 29 of my Dire Wolf 21.118. Let's play. We're back at our base, at our cozy cottage for this exciting episode. <laughs> and uh, I do have some things planned. I've been uh, trying to get us some more things going in the Ars Nouveau. I got three more source jars over there you can see them one all the way on the right is what it's working on now and i i made four more pedestals over here uh because i have <laughs> something i want to make and it's going to take all eight of them so yes let's do this uh, i also moved the mini map to top left corner instead of the top right because on the top right it would cover up buffs from from minecraft so here oh boy i came in right at uh, sunset so let's go ahead and sleep so we're not bombarded with stuff uh, I have been doing a little bit of uh, reading for the Ars Nouveau, seeing what cool doodads and gadgets uh, there are. And yes, I, I want to, I want the stuff and things. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to make uh, a little Ars Nouveau doodad today. That will help us actually. At least one. We're going to go for. Oh, we need something else too. I, I do want to make that fortune glyph as well. Uh, but first, let's do this. This is what uh, I should have marked this. We can also take our AoE glyph off and our mage spell book. But this amulet of mana region, I need it. I need it because I believe it's going to help me become a more powerful mage. Uh, so we have all the stuff and things over here. Are you ready? Yes. The last one. I just made eight of them. Uh, that was like a little bit extra. I don't know if these have to go in the exact order uh, that... I do need this because I need one of you this to make a dull trinket. And then that goes in our little chanting apparatus. Ooh, nice. And ta da! I mean, we have the man of region. Now, where does that go? Does it just, yeah, pops right up there? Oh, yeah. Like, I was watching the Wolf video, and apparently there's a, a hotkey for this, which I knew because I used this in um, my Ocean Block series. But, yeah, I watched the video, Direwolf's video, and it reminded me that I can put this here and then there's a hot key for it and move that over but I don't know the hot key so what would that be key box category what would that backpacks open backpack B Sophisticated. I wonder if that's gonna like have a conflict or something. Yeah. Yes, it does. Nothing. Okay. So uh, controls, keybinds. So what do you do? Oh, we can all that. Okay, so cycle mode down. Let's um just push escape on that one. Balance crafting grid. I never use that. What's that? 
Oh, there's feet mode switch for mechanism. Um, yeah, let's not do that. Okay, now it should work. So now that would be killed nothing. Narrator narrates chat. Uh oh. I don't want Narrator to. narrates system. I don't. Narrator. Oh. oh. Okay, thank you. Control B is the narrator. Um. I don't know why this isn't working. Uh, P vines. Because it wasn't, uh, was it red anymore? Maybe it's not sophisticated backpacks. Uh, okay. Because this is common back. Maybe it has to. This is simply backpacks. Uh, so. Keybinds. Simply back. Okay, here we go. We can do this. That should work. Since it's with the other backpack and we don't have one, it should. Ooh, it's it's gonna be finicky. Okay, controls, keybinds, B, B. So let's take uh, the sophisticated backpacks off. Get they done. Please work. Ah, okay. There we go. So now we got our little backpack. That's really groovy. Now we can open it and leave it in our set. It doesn't close it. Pushing B does not close it. I guess it's not a toggle backpack. It's just open. That's okay. You can push escape to close it. So we got more mana region. Um, I would also I would like very much to get some better mage armor. But here's the thing. Uh, I only have five of the blades rods. So if I break those down, like here, I would put them in my inventory. I would only get 10 and 10 don't believe it's enough to uh, it's, oh, I, say it. <laughs> I don't think it's enough to make all the fibers that I need. If look takes okay, so ten would still not be enough because I need twenty-four. So I would need at least 12 uh, to get this done. And we only have 10, so no good. Um, so there are a couple ways we could get this, but I was planning on doing some... Like, I wish that there was some other way to break this down get more oh maybe we could see is there like a way to multiply this uh maybe with botania there might be oh no i don't see it so we can use that in brewing and that shape crafting could do it in blazing chili. Oh, there's cooking for blockheads in here too. I 
found that out, I totally want to get that. Um, Forbidden Arcanus school. There are some other magic mods that I really want to get into. Okay, I don't think that. Uh, it's not. Ooh, what? You could summon a blaze. It's the altar of birthing. Um, that is kind of cool. A ritual of the forest. A nature's aura. Another thing I want to look into. Oh my goodness. Um, you could put fiery on Tinker's stuff. This is not what I'm looking for. Like in a, oh, I know I can get in the, oh, I can't believe there's no incompetence in here. Okay. Yeah. It's not listing like the, the ways you can turn, uh, Blaze pods. Use these for okay. Enchanting. We can only turn it into Nether Ward with uh, the Alchemy Catalyst. Um. We can use a a uh, pressure from Create, I guess to break it down into blaze powder. I don't know why you would do that because you can get that in your inventory. But if we macerate it, we can get five, which would give us 25 blaze powder, which would also set us up for the future and getting our tier three armor set because it's going to take uh, these fibers uh it's gonna take these blaze fibers as well uh you what are these used in they're also used to create the end fibers which is the tier three armor so we're gonna need these twice so it would be really good to get uh a macerator going so we could get that done and not have to worry so much about uh, if we're gonna have enough or not because that would be enough for us so that's another thing I would like to work mm -hmm. on today um but before I do that there's definitely something else I would like to work on um so we did this as well oh yeah um i needed the rabbit's foot like i, I was doing it i was in the zone and then it was out of my head we need to go make our fortune uh glyphs so that we I can go mine and I can get those diamonds and I can get all the stuff and things and it will be wonderful. So where's our fortune at on here? There's so many new glyphs that I want to make and also uh where's it? Item pickup, no we hang on, let's go sleep. <laughs> so I don't, I need to, I think there's a sleeping bag in here, so I might need to look into that so I don't have to carry around the bed and then spawn, uh, if I die, I return to spawn, I would actually return to my bed, because that's like, uh, that's why you get a sleeping bag, so you don't have to do that, uh, so that's another thing, bags. oh yeah, there, there are sleeping bags. Oh, and it's only three. Whoa, we can totally do that. I just carry that around on my hot bar so if I'm out and about, I don't have to run all the way back to the house to 
to reset the day. So that would be super duper cool. Yes. Okay, so that's um definitely an upgrade. So let's go find this glyph and make it. So I can get some more diamonds because I used two making this necklace, uh, which I didn't think was bad, but yeah, we got to, I guess, instead of looking, should just uh, type it in. There we go. Fortune is a tier two. Oh, no wonder, uh, because I was looking at the uh, a different the different ones. Uh, so let's get that on our table here. Oop you. Yes, we're gonna get fortune. So I guess um all of this stuff takes mana with every every lift you put in there. Uh, so what I might want to do is because I have my main line here, I have it doing two AOEs so that I can get uh, all stuff. I might take off the amplify. I might not want it to um, harvest things that are too high. I might leave the amplify on like my diamonds and redstone and put like amplify and fortune on there and just leave it like one block so let's like uh, let's put it in the two spot and then i'll put uh move the pain because i want to redo that too but no we'll just do it right here number nine we want a projectile I wonder if that costs any more uh, mana than touch. Uh, spell you start with. Summons a projectile that applies spell effects when this projectile hits a targeted block. Sensitive will allow projectiles to break plants or other materials that do not block motion. Okay, I want to do projectile, I want to do break, and I want to do amplify. Uh, actually, I might need to do fortune. I wonder how many I can add. <laughs> uh, does it give you more? Oh, you can put four. You cannot put more than four it's grayed out. I, I'm just wondering if Amplify will even work in that. Oh, I need a spell name. Um, June 8. There we go. Now I want to go see, like, is it going to mine a diamond? That's my question. That's the question. I do have some diamonds down here so I can go and test it out. Um, also, I mean, because I run out of mana so fast, um, it's not really good for like a lot of mining all at once. So definitely want to increase my mana pool and my mana region as much as possible to help. Okay, here we go. Uh, we got a deep slate diamond. We're on fortune. Let's break it. Not enough mana. Oh, I bet it's got too much fortune. Oh, look at that. We got two. So, <laughs> I don't have enough mana to make um, the four fortunes. Yeah, and that's definitely something you only want to do. I wonder if I push the number, will it go to it? No. 
So is that all that was around here? Also, something that I want to check is that now that I have taken Amplify off of this, how will it act? Yeah, look how much, like, will it mine this redstone? Um, will it just leave it? Oh, it actually mined it. So I guess it can mine the redstone. Got that lead as well. The only bad thing is that this will mine the ore and I won't get fortune effect on the ore. So that's the bad thing. So yeah, I can't wait to be a super powerful mage. Mage light. Oh, and I changed the color to blue. Oh, so that looks pretty nice. Can't really see the, the color because to get those to way down there so i don't know if i'm liking this but my goal is i want i want to do a magic quarry i haven't done magic quarry in so long uh i mean it was like old school thong craft days the last time i made a magic quarry so i think it would be neat to check it out and see how it works i mean even if it's not something i stick with i still want to try it, you know figure it out and see what it's like um because i know i know i could make a quarry with industrial uh contraptions is that what it is industrial contraptions um i know i can make a quarry with that and i know i can make it work and it would just require me to get some sort of power to run it um i know i can do that but i don't know who i can do the the magic one it's something i would have to do you know pondering about and such okay um, oh i thought it was night i heard a zombie I thought it. so uh yeah Another thing I want to do is I want to, to work on my Botania so that I can get the belt and the band of mana. That would be nice. But um, I'm kind of torn because there there is a ring for ours too. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than the necklace. That's why I didn't make it. Because it takes two ender pearls and i only have one at the moment and it takes four diamonds so i need to go down there and uh mine up all those diamonds now that i have fortune and um yeah i can get that i might still i might use my hammer uh, as a way to clear it and then use my spell to use the fortune uh, to get all the good stuff that might that might work that might work a bit better uh, so yeah oh and look they have gilded arcane stone which, which i use a little bit of and it can be you can put this in the stone cutter and get variations of it uh, so it looks pretty cool. I like it. I want to see because I, I haven't looked yet what uh, different things you can do in stone cutter. Oh, but I, I think there are arcane stone variations too. So let me grab one of those as well. I'm just curious um, because they look really nice. Let's put that 
there. Oh, look at that. Got some little swirly cues and gilded bricks, a basket. Oh, a clover. Oh, that looks so good. It slaps, mosaic, and herring. So, and what about this? Ooh, got uh, quite a bit. Oh, it's got a clover for that. A smooth version. Arcane brick clover. These look good. Um, the only thing is, is in order to make this. Oh yeah, it takes it takes a gold nugget. Uh, but it uses a source gem to make a uh, so we don't really have limited lapis at the moment so I don't really want to use that um, yeah we can't make that thing just yet oh and there's a jar of voiding that if you have it in your hot bar it will void items for you and you can put like a, a white list on there of items you want it to void and it will suck them in and destroy it for you and that would be cool but I only have one ender pearl and I'm, I'm like I need to get more so I'm thinking I, I might need to make some sort of uh, mob spawning area and see if I can kill those mobs um, automatically and get get some loot. Normally I only do that in like skyblock worlds, but I don't, it's very dangerous out there. <laughs> it's very dangerous uh, for a young budding mage. Uh, now I have stuff mm -hmm. in my inventory. I need to put this back. So what I might do is, since I don't have um, a way to get the ring that I want for ours yet, I might switch over to get uh, to Batania so that I can get the belt because that's going to make me run a lot faster and will help so much uh, getting around. And I think it has step assist on it too. And a boot. So that would be under the get to uh, dark stone. Oh, I think I have dark stone here. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So what we need for that, I believe, is a diamond. We might need some stone. Ooh, yikes. I didn't think about that. So I'm I cooked up a stack of glass from when we got sand last couple episodes. So we can cook that up because I don't think I have enough of the living stone to make what I want. So I might need to get some more converted. Um, and we have a little area that I cleared out to put some industrial contraptions in because I want that macerator so that I can make my upgraded suit of armor, which will get us more mana and more mana region. Also, I read that getting memorizing glyphs gives you more mana in Mana Regen too, so we'll want to go through and make as many of the glyphs as we can. Uh, not to mention the fact that I really want them. Uh, so that would be good to to kind of maybe I'll plan on some of these glyphs. Uh, where are they like that's a tier three glyph. Like the Glyph of Ignite, I want a new damage spell because I don't think harm is doing a lot of damage for me. And plus I, I want to get uh, 
I want to get some different types of damage in case I come across mobs that are immune to certain types of damage so I have options that I'm not just oh I'm screwed I can't do this uh so yeah I'm gonna try and like I guess I can just go through and add this glyphs uh glyph of glare uh, if used on entities that are on fire, flare causes a burst of damage and will spread fire, deal damage to other nearby entities. Does significantly more damage than harm. Oh, yeah, we want liquid flare. Use we can use flare on entities that are on fire. Oh, when it's used. I don't know is that bad like catch them on fire and stuff and there's this underfoot i'm not sure what that would be used for but we might as well get it uh, bounce we already did the craft cold snap that's a tier two a rune uh that might be cool for placing uh, spells on the ground i think is is an option with a snare that would definitely be cool to get if we have mobs that are moving really fast we can slow them down and then take them out so slow fall split oh that's a tier three one let's not worry about that just yet freeze anyway i'm gonna go through all this and try to find a bunch of like the easier ones that we can get done so <laughs> we'll go ahead and call the episode here and i'll get some more things planned out for the next episode anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time Bye bye